It's a recognition that an hour holding our child's hand in the pediatrician's office is just as valuable as an hour in the boardroom, because then men will do it. It's to know who we are individually, know ourselves first so that we know what we're advocating for, where we're setting boundaries, where we are empowered and where we still need to make some personal improvements as we trailblaze and fight this war. I'm really inspired by micro progressions. I think that's a really interesting way to think about it. So one thing I think we can all do is I think we can practice micro mentorship and micro allyship. I think we often think it requires a big sustained commitment, but there's little things you can do in the moment. I'm often humbled by someone saying a single email or single phone call made a difference in their career. And then for organizations, my call to action is we saw what you could do over the last three years when you treated moving to remote work like the must have it was, what would it look like if we treated diversity, equity, inclusion like a must-have. Women have been strained and they don't feel like it's getting better for them. So the thing that policymakers and individual employers can do right now is have supporting caregivers be a screen for everything you do. Is the policy you're about to put out one that would make it better or not? People do not feel like they're seen. It is possible for both employers and policymakers to change that. This is the new resistance. There are so many people in power that are trying to go back to the old normal of workplaces that never were ever designed for us. And in this moment, we have power and we have leverage because of the great resignation. And so advocate for one thing for yourself and for your workplace. This is, you know, 2019 when we all put on our pink pussycats and we marched in Washington. This is our moment again. I don't know what our hats look like. You know, but I know like what we're marching basically towards is to make sure that workplaces work for women, work for people of color and are finally designed for us.